Hey, what's up? It's me again. You know, I struggle with indecision and sometimes I just give up entirely and don't do anything. While this has nothing to do with the video, uh, I thought I'd remind you that Delta 3200 is a film that exists and instead of shooting it correctly, I found it appropriate to completely suffocate it in its own chemicals and do nothing but watch it suffocate. In this video, I am going to be pushing Delta 3200 by a whopping three stops. For all legal purposes that I'm definitely not credible enough for. I'm the one who developed this role, so your results will probably vary from what I got if you're dumb enough to do what I did. I'll go ahead and teach you, or at least let you know, my thought process in terms of shooting this film and developing it the way I developed it, because I did an awful lot of research to make this happen. It's not a lot, but if we're talking about me, it's a lot. That being said, I didn't walk into this experiment blindly, but realistically, all I could have hoped for were some somewhat legible photos that might have looked like they were printed on sandpaper. So Ilford Delta 3200 is a 3200 ISO black and white film that, well, is known for being grainy and high ISO. Although this ISO reading brings me to my first topic, upon reading, a lot of people, and Cine still themselves, consider and rate Delta 3200 as a 1000 ISO film. For what purpose? I don't know, but the only other role that I've shot is super contrasting, and it could be that they just rate it higher so you can purposely underexpose. Other than that, this is my second role. Also, it's my first role on medium format, so there's that. I don't ever personally need such a high ISO film, but theoretically, you could shoot at night with this film, especially if you're pushing it three stops like I did. Although it's a little misleading because that's not entirely how film works. Upon studying the arithmetic and the logarithmic scales, or the ISO values if you're not a nerd, I realized that three stops over 3200 was actually 25,000 ISO, like right on the dot, but as of 2009, is recognized and is also rounded up to 25,600 ISO. So that's what I set my light meter to, 25,600. Now, with what I was saying, just because your film is rated at 25,600 ISO doesn't mean that you can literally see in the dark. My general understanding of film is that you need light, first of all. If you do underexpose your film, you are hypothetically, theoretically, retaining more highlight detail, but that's it. Your shadows are literally just going to keep getting darker and darker until there's absolutely nothing to capture on the film. So when you push your film, all you're doing is augmenting whatever is stamped on the film paper or the negative, meaning you're only gonna be boosting what's on the film, if you need me to word it that way. If any of that made sense, congrats. For the record, I am using my Mamiya RB67 and my 65 millimeter lens. First things first, I did decide to not shoot this entire roll at night because I wasn't super confident in my light meter. For the record, if you don't know, I tend to use my Sekonic L308 and not my phone to meter most of my photos. So with that being said, yes, I was using an app. Uh, it's called Lux. Uh, for iPhones, but I wasn't super confident because it's been a while since I've used it So I probably did f up most of my exposures somewhere along the line I feel like I might have read the light wrong clearly I must have done something wrong because this photo much like other photos are incredibly dark Again, I could blame this on the app, but let's be realistic I am underexposing this film by four whole stops. So it's probably that If you're ever bold enough to try this out yourself and you don't develop your own film, just be ready to pay a little extra in terms of your lab because from what I understand, they always charge you extra to push or pull your film. They'll probably also take a little longer to get you your scans back. If 
if you do develop at home, I was using Cinestill's DF96 Mono Bath, which essentially takes care of the entire process in one dunk. This could have been an issue, although I don't think so. Again, these are just my results and these are the tools that I use to make these photos. I developed the roll at 95 degrees Fahrenheit for about six minutes and 30 some seconds. I'm just gonna say six minutes and 30 seconds. That's how long I did it. If you do the math, I didn't entirely push it to what should have been 25,600 ISO, but let's be real, the film was entirely underexposed anyways, so I probably wouldn't have changed much if I did develop it a little longer. For the record, this is very pretty colors right now, and I'm kind of upset that I'm blowing up Delta 3200 instead of shooting portrait or something. Alternatively, and something that I didn't try, what you could do is just shoot the film at box speed or 3200 ISO, but still push it two stops or three if that's what you want to do. Just to clarify, technically, if you do shoot the film at box speed or 3200 ISO, you're still going to need to push it anyways because, again, this film is secretly rated at 1000 ISO for some reason, so you still need to push it. Technically, I say technically because that's what Cine still says. That's what forums say, but it is being marketed as a 3200 ISO film. So by all means, shoot it at 3200 and develop it normally. You'll probably get better results this way, at least considering that you're not underexposing the film by three or four stops. While most of this roll kind of was a dumpster fire, in my opinion, there was two or three shots that I really did like. This one was such a good composition in my opinion, but unfortunately it is very underexposed and you don't see the details that I was going for. The other one that I thought was kind of cool was this somewhat self-portrait, if you will. And lastly, this photo of my table. You can't see it, but there's a cat mug on the table. Pretty sad that you can't see it. Again, this video is unfortunately just an experiment. It wasn't meant, or at least I wasn't expecting groundbreaking work. I'm pretty glad that I did this because it's interesting to see the way film works and what I can and cannot do. But again, it is an experiment and I thank you for watching this video. Am I going to be pushing Delta 3200 in the future? Probably not. Am I going to be shooting Delta 3200 in the future in general? Yeah, probably. Is anyone going to watch this video? Probably not. Yeah, I'd say bye.